Greetings, 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 and welcome to another episode of Great American Survival. Today is a great day. I hope you guys have had a great week, and today we have a special review for you. Stick with us, we'll tell you all about it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as you see, today we will be looking at the new Yuko Air 150. This is an amazing headlamp. And at the time of this video, which is October, this is the box that comes in, which is October 20th of 2017, it is the lightest and thinnest headlamp on the market. That is impressive. Uh, if you're a runner or do any type of outdoor experience or outdoor activity, it is impressive. Weighs less than two ounces at 1.6 ounces. It is 2.3 inches across and 1.4 inches in across this way. Very impressive and it is less than 0.6 thickness of the lens of the light itself that's impressive guys to weigh less than less than two ounces the the lightest headlamp I could come across that I own was over three ounces and it is a lot bigger and it only has 10 lumens and doesn't do anything else this one has you the the outer lens is your on off switch so as you turn it on it goes to the lowest setting which is 10 lumens and it's good for that for five hours on a single charge the next setting is the medium which is 60 lumens and that's good for an hour and a half and then you go all the way up to the 150 lumen mark and that's good for 48 minutes and broadcasts at over 154 feet is what they they advertise personally um, I use it in my backyard and on several trails, and it just broadcasts very well. Um, I will show you a video at the end, and it'll, or actually here, I'll show you a video real quick right now. Now we'll adjust it up to the high setting. The high setting, as you see, gets a little, it's pretty good. Nice, 150 lumens, very nice, nice pattern. My phone almost can't capture the, wind, the, the light pattern. It's imp pretty impressive. Uh, if you're on a trail, it'd be as wide as any trail you're on. If you're on a mountain bike, it'd be good for that. Got good depth. This is the side of my house over there, and that's my I can see all the way to my property line, which is probably a good 150 feet. I'll just show you some outside footage. The, on a trail, it works great. Uh, the lowest setting, the 10 lumen setting, works great. Puts out about a 15 foot pattern um, at anywhere after 10 feet. So really nice. Very nice, very easy to see by very easy to use it's just a great light it is all plastic that is the only durable negative I would say is one of the negatives uh, the other was it is a micro USB it is not waterproof and it did not come with the micro USB cable to charge it but in today's day I think just about every one of us has a micro USB cable around our house it's used for everything except for my iPhone. Uh, it's an impressive light. Uh, it is a 170 milliamp lithium ion battery. Very nice. Uh, like I said, the only negatives I would say that I've came across is the fact that it is, doesn't come with a cable, and I will tell you some negatives about what I found in the strap. The strap is very nice, but it is a hook and loop Velcro strap. Very durable. 
not like a lot of cinchable cable um, straps like a lot of them do and it's not a bungee either it is a neoprene inner with a lycra back and a mesh uh, fabric outer on the front which makes it very breathable it's going to dry out very quickly and it's just not you're not going to get really really it's not going to be an inconvenience it's not going to get sweaty it's going to dry out very easily the only negative I didn't like about it was the way the stitches on this outer are done. It creates an, all these little tabs that are where it's folded over, which I didn't quite understand why you wouldn't have just brought this up and over all the way across the front, but they didn't. So that rubs on your face. Yes, that probably does keep it from slipping, but it's not going anywhere. I was very impressed with how well it stays on. Um, doing jumping jacks, doing burpees, it doesn't really matter. It isn't going to go anywhere. It stays on your face because you can adjust it as tight as you want and wear it however you want. Uh, I've put it on a skeleton from our Halloween display. I'll show you a picture of that real quick. And it's just... It is honestly a very impressive headlamp. It is really well made. Yes, it's not the most durable thing in the world, but for $35, you are getting an incredible headlamp. If you're a runner, you know how two ounces is amazing. You won't even realize it's on your head. Some hats weigh more than that. I mean, this is incredible. If you guys are looking for a headlamp, I'd say go over and check out Yuko. Yuko also has a lot of other gear. They have a lot of lights and lanterns and just a lot of great gear. If you guys are looking for anything like this, please go check out Yuko. I will put their link in the description below. And I hope you guys just enjoyed this video. If you guys um, like the video, please comment below and tell me what you think. If you'd like to see more like this, please comment below also. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you would like to shoot me a personal email, Go right across here. It'll be greatamericansurvival at gmail.com. And I'd love to hear from you. Hope you guys are all ready to get outdoors. Hopefully this being fall is here. Winter is coming. Long nights are coming. You gotta get ready. Gotta be ready to take to the trail. Gotta be able to enjoy the night. Embrace the night. And just carry your lantern in your lamp. Um, I personally, I love headlamps. Guys, go check out Yuko. I hope you guys appreciate this video. Hope you guys liked it. Please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And above all, get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless. We'll talk to you soon. All right, so we start off with no lamp. And we're going to start off with a low setting. As you see, I'll keep the camera head still and I'll move the light. It's got about a, I don't know, 10 feet from my garage door. It's probably 15 feet across. Now if I adjust it up to the high setting, you'll see how bright it is. Um, you know, it's actually quite bright. 